Hey guys, so I'm gonna be changing out my cigarette lighter um, fuse. It's blown, and so it's kind of messy in here because I took out everything from the glove box. So the cigarette lighter in here is not working. That's in this this uh, console here. This is a 2011 320 BMW 328i. So the cigarette lighter is not working. And the fuse box is behind the glove compartment. Uh, you don't have to take out the glove compartment like uh, like this, but I did because I needed to get more access to it. And once you take off whatever you have inside here, this, this is more on the top. I just took it off like that. And there's a cover here, this cover is behind here with this two plastic screws you just turn these and then pop this out and behind this cover is this um, paper here this diagram this diagram is like in here and you just open it. it's kind of tricky to read because uh, some of the BMWs I saw says it's needed a, a 30 um, amp fuse which is in the corner but this one here with this sign here this is the looks like a continuity sign is number eight so when you turn it on this side number eight is this one here in the bottom of the box facing this from left to right so number eight is this is a 20 amp fuse as you can see up here also it says number eight below eight that shows the number and the amperage so below here as you can see in here it's kind of dark so this two is blank and then you get um one two three four five six seven eight so eight is on the bottom and if you can see there eight is on the bottom So eight is right next to this five here. So it's a 20 amp fuse from left to right. It's one, two, two blank spot, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So number eight is the fuse. Okay, I zoomed in too much. So on other BMWs is in the right hand corner on the bottom, number 30. So I thought it was the same. It's not, so I bought 30 amp. So I have to um, go back to AutoZone or something and get uh, 20 amp. And this one is blown, as you can see. It has a burn spot here, a dark spot. And you have a, if you have a multimeter, you can test it too like that. Just put it on um, continuity, this sign here. And you just take both sides and touch it like this. Put both sides like this and just touch it on the, the points here and if it beeps it's good if it beeps like this it's good if not the flow fuse is not good so as you can see in this one here if I put it it's not gonna beep but if I put it on this one here, or you can put it on the other side too like this just touch it like this didn't beep but this one here if I put it on it it's gonna beep just doing this with one hand see that one is good but this one is blown so I just have to get a 20 amp and pop it back in and you just put everything back together it's simple it's not hard and that's how you replace a blown fuse or any other fuse you just follow the diagram on this side and on this other side so if you like the video click uh, like thumbs up share the video subscribe to see more videos leave a comment down below and thanks for watching